first of all, big kudos to the um, the matching team because they matched me with someone who's very similar. So that was a good starting point. You know, we like we both like chocolate, we both like dancing, we both like talking, we both like crafts. So you know, I was able to sort of dive into those um, those little pieces. Also, there was a lot of um, materials and resources that I got building the relationship with the with the parent because with my little we built quite a quite a nice relationship with her mom and it's made it a lot easier when things come up being ready to have that conversation with the little to talk for them to share like what their expectations are and what yours are when it comes to the relationship and how you're going to hold each other accountable to that having emotional awareness of yourself and also of your little is important with your little in order to see what are the subtle changes that happen throughout like the week that you could follow up with um, and just being able to meet them where they're at. I think I guess another piece of all is just like have fun with it. Um, the one thing I really value about my engagement with my little is I kind of feel like a kid again, being able to sort of embrace that energy. biggest thing that makes a big successful is really committing your time. So coming up with a schedule that works for you and your little and then being reliable is probably the most thing. I think you can come from be any type of personality. You can be have any interests or job or background. I think the biggest thing I can say that's going to make you successful is just being committed to the program and the scheduling and just being there to listen to your little and guide them along the way. I don't think there's a big pressure to be anything to them other than someone who listens to them and another resource they can go to if they have like things they're going through in their personal life. It's a commitment piece. Is something that's just like very important and something I value, something that I know my little values as well. So ensuring that I'm able to sort of stay on top of everything to make sure that I have that crafted time that we're able to connect with each other consistently. So what I like doing is usually when it comes to like our check-ins, just asking and seeing like how my little day went and ask them to rate their day out of 10 and being able to sort of see on their down days, what were some of the things that were stressors for them? Or on their good days, where are certain things that really resonated with them? And from there, being able to ask follow-up questions, because I feel like what I've noticed in working with young people, is sometimes they they either like hit the ground running when it comes to being having an invitation to chat about themselves, or they give you they give you a bit just to sort of because that's how much they're sort of like been used to giving. But when someone has a curiosity to ask and follow up with more, you learn so much there. A set of like similar questions each time. So how, what's exciting that's happened in the week, what's not? And then I noticed that like as the time went on, she'd have the answers prepared and that sort of helped us give a bit of a structure to this structureless digital world. Those vulnerable moments that you're able to have and putting yourself out there in order to allow your room to come in uh, becomes really important too. So. Those would be a few things that come to mind for me. Trust and and um, trust and vulnerability. I think that that for me has been a huge thing. Is not just like her, but showing my vulnerability to her and letting her. You know, I'll be like, if I'm upset about something that happened, I'll be like, man, I had a tough day. I'm just like, you know, really. Or if we're playing a game and I lose, I'll try to be like, ah, oh, that sucks that I lost. But hey, you know, I'm still having fun with you. And I think that those things are, are, are good to make, are helpful to make, you know, a child that you don't know that you're learning to know feel like they can lose and they can be uncomfortable and they can be vulnerable with you. So if you're there to act as a guide to connect their passion for speaking and making speeches, like my little, and connecting with sports, like, oh, so I can see why you're really interested in like sports commentary, for example. Um, Giving them those those um, those opportunities to reflect, I think it sort of hits the ground running for them to even have that space to reflect and build on themselves as well. Do actual activities together and have a, a focused um, end goal. So we would do things like, hey, next week you figure this out and I'll figure you this out, or next week you learn this dance on TikTok and I'll learn the dance on TikTok, and then we can virtually do it together. You know, like just like it gave us something to also come back and talk about, and so it wasn't just this like. So how's life going? The most surprising thing probably is just like how long term or like how deep and in deeply ingrained our friendship became. I think that's been the most surprising is like A, the amount I've gotten out of the program and our friendship, but also 
how long it's going to be. And she's someone we'll know, I'll know forever and will be closely ingrained in my life forever and, and my family's life because everyone knows her and has spent time with her. So I think that's probably the most surprising. It's just having those moments to be able to connect with your little as well, meet them where they're at and be able to just encourage their curiosity, encourage um, them exploring um, different options as well and them knowing that they have you around to be able to support them along with that journey. We love to hang out. We could spend a day, she'll come over and we watch a movie or watch movies all day, or we'll make homemade pizza. Um, it's just like, I think it went from us fi like finding different events to do to sort of she's just become a natural part of our family. So she'd come over for like dinner on a Wednesday night and just hang out and watch, um, watch movies. He's been kicking my butt at chess. I'm still trying to, I'm still trying to get a W. We try to craft a little bit together. So, you know, she'll teach me things that she learned in school and I'll teach her things that I know. We built some cool things. Um, we like to play a lot of the virtual games. Um, we're big on Uno, which is fun, and guess who? She was really shy and reserved and um, wasn't really outgoing when she was 10, when she was much younger. And over the years, I've been able to bring her out of her shell, not only in experiences we've shared together, but I think translating now back to her own high school experiences or experiences with her friends, just seeing all the areas she's grown or changed because of our relationship has been interesting to watch. And that's something I never really thought about when going into this. To be able to just build a new friendship and being able to, to see how the relationship develops, seeing, being able to be let in to very vulnerable or very like things that they're really passionate about as well, is those little moments that happen sprinkled throughout the relationship that make it such a rewarding opportunity. And sort of coming into it, not really having the set expectation that it's gonna go a certain way and allow it to sort of manifest to grow to what it is, has been such a beautiful experience. There's an impact that you that you have on them, but there's also an impact that they have on you and I. I really love um, hearing the way that children sort of interpret the world. So I guess the most rewarding part is just having like a nice, a nice relationship with, with a kid that's cool and sweet and you know appreciates it and I appreciate her. Yeah.